how's it going, people? And um, welcome to 2019. Well, I'm going to try something new. I want to do a little bedtime story. I'm not sure how... Uh, the print isn't too bad on this. Um, eh. I have not read this yet. It's um, written by this guy, Ethan Smith. No relation to Joseph. But apparently uh, Oliver Cowdery uh, used to go to his church. And this was published in... Um, 1825. So, it, uh, oh, first of all, I'm going to enjoy my Christmas present. Some potato vodka imported from Poland. It's very nice. Oh, that is the nicest vodka I've ever had. I don't usually like vodka that much. I like this. And tried another Bloody Mary mix. This one's, it's loaded. <sighs> it's a gourmet. Bloody Mary. Sanguinary goodness. Hmm. All right. Okay. Well, I'm not ready to start this bedtime story yet. That's the next video. But let's, uh, I'm just going to hide this over. A view of the Hebrews or the tribes of Israel in America. Now, to my understanding, this was not such an original idea. When I was first approached by... You know, Mormons, uh, my sister was becoming a Mormon, my wrestling coaches were both Mormons, and people were converting left and right, and they were coming over to visit me. And they gave me the spiel about it. You know, Israelites in North America, it's suddenly like, you know what, I always wondered what we have to do with the Middle East, but what the heck, you know? It came over here, obviously it's, you know, a global event. It sounded plausible to me. You know, as a 17-year-old. My sister was actually briefly baptized and then it communicated. Uh, Ethan Smith lived from 1762 to 1849. Table of Contents, Chapter 1, The Destruction of Jerusalem. Chapter 2, The Certain Restoration of Judah and Israel. Chapter 3, The Present State of Judah and Israel. Chapter 4, An Address of the Prophet Isaiah Relative to the Restoration of His People. Wow, that's shades of the BOM right there. God, a good quarter of the BOM is probably Isaiah. More or less. Maybe a third. Uh, conclusion. And then there's an appendix. Uh, okay, well, they're going to start right with the first chapter. But I'll tell you my thoughts right off the bat. Uh, this was a common idea when they discovered America. They were trying to piece it in, you know. Where's the Garden of Eden? Yeah. <clears throat> Because this couldn't be, you know, how'd this guy get related to Noah? <laughs> well, yeah, he worked it out. You know, um, a lot of people pondered about scenarios like this. I think uh, Thomas Jefferson like, was interested in the lost tribe of Israel maybe being somewhere in North America at his time. I think that was one of the things Lewis and Clark was keeping an eye out for. Any signs that they uh, noticed any chosen people um, indications? Anyway, I don't want to do, go too deep into it. It's interesting. It's a lot like uh, many other, like many Mormon 
ones. I wonder if they're if they printed this. Maybe they wanted to own it since it's considered the template that Joey got his magic book from. But as you can see, there's nothing on the back, just a white and a barcode. Okay, enough delay. I'll see you in the next video where I will start chapter one. With as little commentary as possible, I'm just going to try to read it straight. That's why I'm getting to talking out of my system now. Don't go to bed yet. I haven't started the bedtime story.